share my screen. Okay. Yeah, I see everything okay? Yep. yep. Okay. Oh, well, it looks like my cursor's on Jimbo, but I guess we'll start there. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, over in what they call the UP in Michigan. Are you guys know where that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is one of the rivers that kind of flow into. Um, I don't know if you've ever been. I'll show later some pictures of picture rocks, mm. and, and um, you'll see later. But meanwhile, we'll watch this. <laughs> so, but a nice, uh, nice kind of river flowing and. Um, not really much, uh, much to it other than uh, just the point of view. What was your shutter speed on that? I think it was around a 30th. Okay. So you got some nice motion out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you, were you hand holding this? Yeah, yeah, because I was standing in the river. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but it, it, it worked out really well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah nice. Yeah. You think about maybe doing a little vignette to kind of bring in a little bit or, or just darkening some of the edges selectively? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking like over here and maybe maybe a little bit down in here. Uh-huh. And I don't know, maybe maybe this could go away too. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, finish it up. Yeah, and then maybe, I don't know. Looks like you got some water on your lens there. Yeah. Sandy always finds the the missing details. Always. <laughs> always. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm not done. I just found one more here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little lawyer or something up there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what a film editor does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so much retouching, it's almost ingrained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty. Let's look at the next one here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah again, uh, just a, uh, a wildflower in the area. Uh, I don't even, does anybody recognize it, know what it is? I don't. Mm -hmm. Just a, a nice uh, texture on the, on the petals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the painting is really neat. Hmm. This was uh, one of the chalk uh, selections in uh, Tokyo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a chalk selection. Nice. Hmm. This is the same thing. It's uh, kind of like a cotton candy piece <laughs> mm -hmm. that uh, did it again, the chalk selection. That's a nice one, Jim. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. How do you feel about this going off the page? Does it find that interesting mm -hmm. or distracting? I don't think I mind that. Okay. Yeah, I could go either way on it. Yeah. Wouldn't take much to short that if you wanted to. But... Yeah, mm. I could do yeah. that. What's the lens are you using here? Micro lens or? Um, a, um, a 60 millimeter macro. Mm. Mm. That's a Nikon? Yes. Uh, you know, years ago, well, yeah, a lot of years ago, like in the early 70s, I think I had a macro. Back then there were 55, so I guess I've graduated up to 60 now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, well, and I bought, I mean, I bought that 60 like 10 years ago. So uh -huh. who knows what they've got now? Probably 90. Yeah. I've got 105, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, Sandy, a quick question on that particular sure. shot there. This one? Does that, does that type of shot need a high megapixel camera or, or does it does it matter or what? what's your opinion on that? What, for macros? Yeah. Well, it just depends on how big of a print you want to make. Okay. You know, I, I think it's a lot of it's in the optics and, you know, if the sensor is clean, doesn't have any artifacts, I don't think it really matters. Okay. Okay, so this is out on the, the lake, Picture Rocks Lake. Anybody mm -hmm. familiar with it? Mm -hmm. No, but I really like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these are, uh, well, you'll see another picture uh, kind of gives you more of an idea, but these are um, the walls. They're big walls, like 20, 30 feet in mm. that uh, kind of, have waterfalls that like the one that I showed you at the first and they're dropping off. But I, I had the waterfall in my shots, but it wasn't interesting enough. <laughs> hmm. But this has just the colors of um, the, 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 uh, the sand, I think it's a sandstone that the water leaches out and then runs down the walls of the lake and then it then it has some quality in it that creates that color mm. some kind of mineral so it's a sandstone rather than a limestone yeah yeah, yeah. It's a limestone yeah yeah i think it's limestone and when i first saw it i thought maybe that used to be the high water mark <laughs> like i've seen in so many things uh, right. here but not, not so much yeah. yeah, very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, like really like it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I had a whole bunch, and I there's just too many. So yeah, is this done I, pretty much a straight uh, process, yeah. or did you use? Yeah, no, this one was straight. I mean, yeah. uh, besides just normal enhancement and so forth, but okay, right. yeah, because it looked like it could have been some topaz filter but um, no it really was it's yeah. Uh, yeah that makes it even more amazing yeah i'll show you some there's every color in the rainbow that and the different uh i guess you would call it waterfall near the waterfalls yeah. of some of these walls sandstone walls yeah and they're really very interesting yeah i'll, I'll show the well, I'll be what two weeks now, but next time I'll show some of more of the of the walls. They're really mm -hmm. interesting. Did you do some really tight shots so they're almost abstract and you don't know what or where they're from? Yes, I okay. well I did, but um, yeah, because I think that would be neat. You know, if it's something okay. like you know, like yeah. this, uh, you Absolutely. know, we really don't know what or where it is. You know? yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kind of kind of fun. All right. Yeah. Interesting seeing those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the, and the water. Yeah. Now this is the the this is sort of oh. a, a kind of an eye gives you an idea of of the okay. walls of the lake. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the Great Lake here. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Lake Superior. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, but it's a lake within the lake. It's they oh. call it Picture Rocks Lake. Okay. Oh. But um, so this is uh, this is kind of those those walls collapsed, and they just left the uh, the entrance way like straight through. Mm. But that's sort of a straight shot again. Uh, no, uh, no manipulation, I guess. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. I didn't know they had areas like this up in the UP yeah. to get up that way. Yeah, this is uh, one of the uh, highlights of Lake Superior. Mm. Interesting. Uh, a lot of people go up there and yeah. there's, you know, boats for hire and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I had some friends over in Puerto Rico that used to summer on Madeline Island. Is this anywhere near that? Puerto Rico? No, no. Uh, Madeline Island, which is up, you know, on Lake Superior as well. Oh, the, I, I think that no, might be further west. Like yeah. Lake Superior is huge. I don't even yeah. know. Where. Yeah, I, I think it's actually but, uh, north of Wisconsin and maybe even heading toward oh, right. Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's way yeah. Yeah, it's on further, the further west than this. Yeah, it yeah. would be further yeah. west. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Just FYI, there is a circle tour. That of uh, Lake Superior that we, we took some years back. That that's very interesting to do that. It takes about five six days. It took us five six days to go around it. Oh really? Mm. Yeah. 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 It got regular marked roads and, and highlights and stuff all the way around it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Fun. I don't know. Seen the pictured rocks on the maps, but this may be the best picture I've ever seen. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Very nice. Well, thanks for letting us know about that, Jim. Yeah. I guess we'll just go down the line here. Mm. Uh, Jim Murphy? Yeah, this is uh, aerial photography mostly today. Well, let's see two aerial shots today, and then uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, I believe Mount Adams here. Hmm. And this is what part of uh, Washington State? Yeah, this is the Cascade Range uh, in in Washington. So I usually fly up the the east side of the Cascades because the weather's better. And then, um, but then this this time I had to divert because there were so many thunderstorms on, on the east side. So, but uh, mm. yeah, this is in Washington state. <laughs> I love the diversity of clouds. And then you've got the yeah. textures and the yeah. snow and the rock in the mountains. And, mm. and some low clouds and, and some it's clouds. Clouds. I I cirrus clouds as well, and then yeah, clouds yeah. over the top. Yeah. So, and I I did I had done this uh, I think in Lightroom, but then I took it into Neo, and I used some of the features in Neo, like the enhance and so forth in in Neo, to bring out a little bit more mm -hmm. detail in some of the crevasses and and so on and so forth, and uh, in I'm pumped up the contrast a little bit and so forth. So I used Neo on this. I've been practicing, as I said, with Neo a little bit and uh, learning what the tools are in there. Yeah. Don't forget to get selective with the masks as well. Right. You could you could go like just in this area and add some structure if you wanted to. Right. Mask and, and so I did with the upper. So with the uh, upper cloud, I I did different mask there. I, I wanted to, I softened that. I didn't want it real crunchy in, the, in those clouds up there. Uh -huh. And then I masked the lower cloud and darkened it. It was quite a bit lighter than that. So I, mm. I really darkened it up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good shot, that uh, Jeff. Yeah. Beautiful. Did you try the uh, the the uh, spot removal in Neo? I did not have not tried that yet. Okay. Are you seeing some spots here? <laughs> I see one here. Let's uh, just okay. curiosity. Oh, yeah. Let's see if uh, let's see if it'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If not, it's got the erase tool. So I actually I'm, I didn't even notice where the spot remo removal tool was in the. I, you demonstrated it once before, but yeah. I haven't, I haven't yeah. used it. Now I'll, they just. Did another release. I think this is 107 now. Yeah. It's, I think it came out Friday. So okay. Um, oh. they they 
added a favorite section so you can put tools up here you use a lot although i haven't figured out how to move them there yet <laughs> well it automatically put a couple that i've been using there so i, I think they i think it comes that way um okay yeah so uh, i guess you can add more but uh, mm. i haven't figured out how yet I, I just haven't taken the time but but yeah if you go to erase and you get the power lines and the dust spots right here. So. Okay, under erase. Oh. Yeah, so let's hit dust spot. Let's see what happens. Yeah. yeah. It's gone. Gone. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. It's, it's oh, interesting that it can do that based on the fact oh, that. Oh, there's a, there's a couple of them. There's another one up here too. Watch. Yeah. There's the before. Oh, okay. There's the after. But I mean, some of those things that are actually just clouds and not spots sort of look like spots, but it doesn't remove those. So it's kind of cool that it can figure that out. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah, it, it gets pretty good at it. Sometimes it'll miss them if it's questionable, like if it's a real kind of big and faint one where it's just a little grayer or darker than the rest, it'll leave those alone. And then you just use the erase, you know, you just take a brush and erase. So basically, you go do something like that, and then just hit erase. Mm -hmm. I'll clear that off. Now, the other thing you can do is, um, you know, if if it made a mistake, you've got to restore here to reset it back to normal. Or if you want to just, like, if it took something off and you want to restore part of it, you just paint with a brush, like that, and then hit restore. So that, it gives you a lot of different options. I'm just going to clear that off. There we go. And then, of course, once you close it, it's going to go into your edit section. Uh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Good to know. Yeah. And then, like I was saying, um, you know, if you want to just kind of take structure and just put it in certain areas or, or anything, detail or anything like that. Let's just hit, take a quick peek and see what it's doing. Yeah, I almost like a little of that in the sky. Okay. Yeah. So, um, drawing it down a little bit. Maybe it's getting a little too heavy here, but yeah, I'd take it down a bit. And, you know, um, usually I, I kind of go the opposite way. If you got a lot of stuff to cover that you want it to be on, I'll mask the stuff I don't want it to be on and then just invert the mask. So maybe it would just do something like this. So say this area here, and maybe just this over here, we don't want it on. So I, um, there's one thing, it would have been nice if they left the masking options open, but you got to get out of, out of the tool and then hit it to, to invert. I don't like that so much, but no. if you want to see the mask, you can hit show and should see. So now it's, it's doing everything but those areas that are clear. Yeah, so a few little things that they can improve, but for the most part, there's some really nice stuff. So, so then you got your before and after. Anyway, so uh, quit out of that. So this is uh, this is called Neo AI. It's no, uh, it's Luminar Neo. Before that was Luminar AI. <laughs> Before that was a little bit of four, three, two, uh, whatever. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the current uh, latest version that they're really concentrating on is this uh, Luminar Neo. Yeah, here's Neo here. It's got a little smaller icon than the, the old AI. This is not one of the kind that uh, control your mind, is it? No, <laughs> controls your wallet is what it does yeah, in your life <laughs> yeah it's called a deep rabbit hole another one <laughs> between that and the studio too you'll you can burn a lot of time okay well, this is very nice it's uh it's off my patio in green valley uh and i did uh neo on this one as well uh, mm -hmm. did some you know show, you just work with the sky and I used a little bit of the landscape uh, and I want to say happy hour <laughs> uh, golden hour that's it <laughs> I confused my hours <laughs> uh, 
But they have their near and dear happy hour. <laughs> I guess you could combine golden hour and happy hour if that's possible. A lot so. of people do. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, so I did this one with Neo and just played around with it this morning. And um, I'm looking at the cloud now, not really liking that cloud. It's a little too uh, soft. Yeah. Well, it, it's blown out too, I think. Yeah. yeah. So um, maybe when you did some of the adjustments here, it might yeah. have affected it. Um, but one thing I like to finish off with um, after I do a lot of stuff, uh, First is to make see what what's affecting it, and if it is, mass that out. And if, if it's not, and it's already there, somebody say oh, okay, whatever. Um, down in the professional tools at the bottom here, there's one called Super Contrast. Mm -hmm. And if you take that highlight contrast down a lot, see you can pull in quite a bit of detail there. But the other thing it does is it warms it up. Um, so you didn't have to select that at all? No, I just, no, it's just doing highlights. Uh, highlights, with tunes and shadows. And then there's a balance too. You can really blow it out <laughs> or you can pull it over and kind of refine it even a little more. Yeah, so that's somewhere good. in there. That works yeah, out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, now I don't know if I like it in the rest of the areas. I don't like what it's doing in the mountains that much, see? So in this case, I would just I would just go to the mask and uh, you know just grab a brush, just kind of paint it in here. You can be a little sloppy because it's a highlight and the sky is much darker than highlights, so it should be okay. There you go. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and then if you, if you like it warm, fine. If you don't, you can go back and control that as well. Um, the other thing I guess you could do is, uh, well, before we go anywhere, let's see that new feature where we can actually copy the mask. Uh, and then we'll go up here to develop and go to masking and let's paste the mask. All right. Yeah, it's there. Okay. So now when we go back to adjustments, you know, we could probably even take the highlights down a little further if you want. And we can go into color here and maybe cool that off a little if you want. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, maybe you might want to go into the blacks and whites, not black and white, uh, where you can either bring some white back or take it down a bit. And you can even a little more dark in there. But if you pull the dark in there, you're, just, you're starting to see where the brush spills because now you're affecting areas that aren't light. Right. Yeah. So if you want that, then you just go and clean up your mask. Uh, if you don't, uh, just put it back and you don't have to worry about it. So you don't have to get real anal with your masking if it's areas uh, on the spectrum that it's not going to affect. Uh, so, you know, if you're on a highlight next to a mid-tone or shadow and you're playing with the highlights, it, it, it usually doesn't affect it. So just something to think about and spend your time wisely. Um, and I guess, you know, you could even just kind of tweak that up a little bit, just a little darker than zero exposure but again yeah if you just wanted to add a little more dark to it that's easily done and then just go grab your mask uh go back to brush go to erase it's a small and just go on and clean it up hmm. There. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Better looking cloud now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, that's the uh, the tree that uh, we took. Uh, same snag tree that we took with the Milky Way. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh. 
little different, little different angle. And I went with the kind of the blue, yellow, mm. um, complementary colors with the you know silhouette. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I know Sandy's going to point it out, so I'm just going to, I see some little leaves down there that are kind of bright that need to be <laughs> knocked down. So yeah, I'm starting yeah. to channel Sandy all the time now. It's pretty yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah. Look at that channeling. I wonder what happened to Steve Carr. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen, I haven't seen him in a while, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a call this week and see how he's doing. He must be busy or something. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. Um, maybe I might want to put something in the sky. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you could. Do you have a play Milky Way shot? I mean, aside from the one they give you. You mean, um, yeah, I could put a Milky Way. Are you saying put a Milky Way in the sky? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. At least, at least I'll, 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 maybe I'll, try, I'll try that for next time. I'll do, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, you can control yeah. it and then, you know, make this right. darker and, and you got a lot more. I could look, you know, it could look good with the, with that, uh, with, it, with that. Yeah, might. yeah, yeah, either that or, you know, maybe some other dramatic sky. Yeah. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah. We'd probably give it a little, little more click, click it up a bit. Okay. Oh wow. Unreal. And uh, that is Mount Hood, and that's I. I did oh, wow. uh, behind it. You can see there's a gigantic thunderstorm. Um, so I had to. I was going to go where that thunderstorm is. So I had to reroute and go um, to to the west. But you can see that. You can see the uh, ski lift going up there. Oh, yeah, um, right at the bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. It goes. Yeah, there it is. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, close up to the. Yeah, there you go. Right in there. Boy, smoke. Yeah, you know, I have never skied on that particular area there, but uh, anyway, I shot this one, yeah, through, through the window, unfortunately, and there's a little bit of window reflection up there yeah, to, yeah. to the left. I reduced it a little bit, but I didn't completely get rid of it. So, uh, but I turned it into a black and white, um, <laughs> which solved some of my problems, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know anything new that would affect that. What I used to do in Photoshop was there's a couple things you can try. One is a healing tool, a pretty big one. And uh, I tried a smaller one, but maybe that was, I didn't go big enough with the healing yeah, tool. Yeah, I mean, you do small, it just kind of leaves little trails all over the place. So, right. Um, well, here, let's get big. Uh, the other thing, which before the healing tool came out, was to was to get your clone brush, and make it huge, mm -hmm. you know, like that. Okay, and then you know, you have a big have, have a big feather on it, maybe. Yeah, you know, make sure it's like totally feathered, and uh, then I would take the uh, opacity, you know, down to like maybe. Uh, 10 or 20 mm. and just kind of tickle it in. Oop. Mm. Gotta be careful where you <laughs> get it up from. But yeah, so if I, yeah, there, maybe there. At least with the visualization, you can see what you're hitting if you, you get somewhere. So, Just, yeah, just very lightly. I just click it, I'm not even dragging. You know, just clicking it a little bit. And then you're gonna have to- Excuse me, breaking. What? <laughs> I didn't hear that, what did it say? <laughs> it was uh, a news, breaking news coming up. Oh, breaking. Oh. Breaking. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know it was breaking or briefing or what it was. Um, uh, again, now uh, I would have done this a different way. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking the old way and going back with the restore brush, but now let's let's just go all the way back there. Uh, now I just make a new new layer, okay, and put a mask on it. And then uh, then I would do the same thing. 
So, so you see how I'm getting the top here? So you, so from here, you want to go up with your sore. And, and then from, from here, you're going to want to go down a little bit. You know, just click and do the same this way, you know. Okay. All right. And then, and then if you make any mistakes, you've got your mask here to, to kind of blend in and out. But yeah, you can minimize that pretty quick. The other thing you can do is um, just take that area and um, make it a little darker. Uh, oops, I don't want that. I want curves here. Let's just grab. This area is down here, but maybe we want to get to here. So it's very close. So maybe what we do is we just get up just, or rather down just a bit. Would, would putting a, a different sky in do it as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah. That's, that's an easy fix. But <laughs> I mean, it, let's say it's in an area you can't replace. I'm just trying to run you through it. Yeah. So if that's a little light, then what you do is you just take this mask and invert it and then just get a brush and, uh, you know, just kind of kind of blend it in there. Okay. Yep, might help if I on white instead of black. There we go. All right, so now that I've got that, I can go hit this. Oh no, that's not right. I'm sorry. Hang on, I put the mask in the wrong place. All right, let me just drag it down here. There we go. Now let's see what's happening. Yeah, so it's just hitting that area. Oops. Yeah, something like that. And then just feather it out a little bit. I can see a little black on the edge there. So just go back to the mask and maybe take this down to like 20% uh, and just kind of Feather that in down a little bit. There you go. Now, if you go too far, it's going to start darkening up the areas you don't want. So, you just got to watch that. And then next time, wear a black shirt instead of a white shirt. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> there you Didn't go. you fly your own plane? Yeah. Cool. So do you, do you go to autopilot briefly when you do these or? I, I, yes. Okay. Usually, yeah. Yeah, so just. Uh, but the problem with the autopilot is you're usually straight and level. So a lot of times yeah. I, um, I want the wings in the picture. So a lot of times I have to tip the wing up to get right. it out of the picture. Okay. Is there any way in autopilot you get fixed position? So if you're slightly banked, you could keep it that way? Yeah, you can. Uh-huh. Okay. So we might be going around in circles, but <laughs> get, too, get, get too into the shot. <laughs> All right. So so that's where it was. This yeah. is where it is now. I, I see a little dark here. I, I would fix that up. That's just a masking issue, but so that kind of shows you what you can do with that if you need to. Now the other way would be uh, let's just turn these off and let's just make a new one on here and uh, just get a big healing brush. That's the other thing you can do. Uh, is a healing brush. Yeah. All right. And just kind of come down here. And... No, nope, that doesn't help at all. Yeah. Yeah. And on subtlety, sometimes it makes it worse. Yeah. It's just making it worse. So, yeah, I guess the old way of just using a clone brush is the way to go here. Okay. So. Your wardrobe malfunctions, that's the solution. <laughs> Very nice. Well, I got to see a glimpse of Mount Hood when we were there. Most of the time it was covered in clouds, but yeah, it's a beautiful mountain. There's a, there's that uh, 
driving uh, tour you can take around all the little wineries in the area. Yeah, just to the there. north of there, there's a lot of wineries. Uh, yeah. Wood River right. area. Yeah, exactly. So we did that one. Um, you know, it was kind of nice. So after a while, we didn't care if we saw the mountain or not. <laughs> We've been doing lots of mountain rescues lately. There are a lot of people trying to climb to the top without adequate training and equipment and then calling for a rescue. <laughs> Great for a free ride home. Yeah, you know, get a yeah, free helicopter them. ride home. Yeah, yeah, I should charge them. That's yeah, it. absolutely. That would quit it pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in there. I want to see that lift. Wow. Mm. That's a major ski. Yeah. yeah. Especially down this way. <laughs> I think you'd need some oxygen up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like you can see some. Well, it's probably the snow cats. I, I don't think that's uh, from skis. Although, I don't know. I'm not sure, but. Uh... I thought I saw some snowmobilers way up at the top, but then they didn't, never showed up in the picture with, with my naked eye. But mm -hmm. that's a great shot, Jim. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the details are amazing. Hmm. Very cool. Thanks. You can see the lodge down there on the right. It's a really cool lodge. It's one of those old, beautiful lodges. In the parking lot there is is it in here yeah go to yeah keep going keep going i think to your left oh, oh here it is yeah, yeah. oh yeah okay yeah there's the lodge yeah cool lodge if you ever get a chance to go in it oh yeah they built them the wpa built those old lodges and uh oh. there was one up here that burned down though at the you know, it's like uh, all of those beautiful old growth uh, timbers and stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Really mm. beautiful. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> One more time. You can, you can see how much snow there was. Um, part of the, this building here it looks like it's just buried. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Back in the late 80s, we rode our motorcycles out, out to there, and uh, we rode, took that chairlift up to the top. They were oh. given, you could buy a, I don't know, whatever it took to get to the top, and then you went up there, and then you just rode back down again. But that was, it was so quiet up there, it was almost deafening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where are your... Uh, biking did you try pike speak to oh yeah yeah oh. been up been up that three times and yeah and uh evans yeah. mountain i've done pike speak in a convertible i got but i can imagine what it's like on a motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a little chilly oh, bad. <laughs> oh, bad. okay looks like bryce yeah, it was mine. yeah this is from the trip up to utah parks in northern arizona and this was one of the attempts to try to get something a little different view of the Bryce mm -hmm. formations. Got a little variety of color, the white and then the pinkish tan. Yeah, the biggest problem I found there is figuring out where to crop or where to compose because there's yeah. so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, and I uh, just did these pretty much straight uh, processing in Lightroom, mm -hmm. it, uh, doing something like a topaz filter just didn't seem right. It kind of like messing with Mother Nature, so right. I uh, didn't want to get too dramatic. But yeah, well, precision contrast and precision detail maybe but other than that and maybe yeah. That, yeah but other than that i don't think i would do much in topaz on this yeah i didn't use it on this i did uh, on some that i had last time uh -huh. some of those cliffs uh, i did get into topaz with that uh -huh. it did pick up a little more detail in the rock face yeah yeah and just like neo you can paint it where you want it Mm, yeah. So. Hmm. yeah, really nice. 
was curious if you darken this up a little bit over here, if it yeah. would be center. Yeah, I'm thinking I did a little bit, but uh, yeah, it does uh, have a few bright spots in there that kind of get in the way as there are some on the lower right on that grayish rock wall. Yeah, it wouldn't take much. You just yeah. my room or camera, just. Uh, I would, I would even mess around and just get a big brush. Just kind of, yeah. Oh, I guess I'm purple this time. <laughs> Turn the auto mask off and kind of fill in the rest here. Yeah. Yeah. Take some of this out over here. Ah. See here, get the feather back up. Now I want to mask a bit. It's a little easier. Eh, maybe I'll come down this way. Yeah. Okay. See how that goes. First, take the highlights down a little bit. And Yeah, maybe we leave the whites up just a bit. You know, I to look dead. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I've used the linear gradient on that because I, I use that about every photo that I work on somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Works well. Yeah. Well, if you can do the linear gradient, um, you could probably just do a subtract, you know, to get that. Oh, so it's not straight, mm -hmm. you know, uh, on your blend. And the other thing, the other thing I would do is maybe uh, let's just turn this off for a second. To uh, with the linear gradient, so I would just uh, maybe do a little bit of a okay here, so rather than a, a full 50-50. Then it oh. falls off pretty quick, and then when you move it. You can do something like that mm. and go maybe okay. even a little past it and then do the same yeah. thing, you know, just kind of put your blacks down and yeah. highlights down a little bit. And, uh, and then if you need to adjust it accordingly, you know, you could just uh, subtract with a brush. Mm. Just get your brush in there. Just take it out where you don't want it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, either way, I work fine. Mm -hmm. Go a little too far. Yeah. Anyway. The Zion? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. This is uh, also just done in Lightroom, but um, I did try to darken that foreground, the reddish slope, and the, I probably put a little more green into the foliage with mm -hmm. um, the camera okay, wrong in Lightroom. Mm -hmm. And that, this one worked out fairly well without having do multiple images merge together. Yeah, yeah, you got a full range from top to bottom and side to side on this one. Yeah, I got kind of the angles of the top of the greenish slope there to point up to the primary rocks. I wonder if you do a little dehaze in this area, just a hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that probably kind of boosts bring, the contrast a little. Yeah, and bring some of the richness back. Yeah. Or uh, I can't remember, do you, do you have Neo or not? No, no. Or, or any of the Luminar? Oh, uh, no. Oh, OK. Yeah, because Enhance would probably do that too. But mm. yeah, that's just. 
I'm curious how well we select subject. So. Not very much. <laughs> here. Let's go back to uh, maybe green. Yeah, it's only selecting here. Hmm. Yeah, let's do green and more opacity. Let's see it. Just so like subject is not working. It's, uh, yeah, I guess just using the brush over that area would be the. Yeah, yeah, or, or the other thing I, I, I think you could do is just do select sky, which will give you that top yeah. edge. Yeah, and then just invert it. And then just get rid of the area that you, uh, you don't want to mess with. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so then here you just go to subtract and you just get a brush. And... Uh, I guess I made this a little thick, didn't I? There, now I can see. <laughs> yeah, you could kind of just come across here and get a little bigger and get rid of the rest. A lot of these adjustments like uh, contrast or uh, dehaze I guess you don't have to be real careful along the edges because yeah it doesn't have it's not like luminosity that gonna make a big difference yeah I feathered it just a little into it so it we forgive it for that and let's just yeah. see what happens oh yeah just a little bit there yep yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you can yeah. put clarity of it too. You want to snap it up a bit? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that would be, I think that brings it forward quite yeah. a bit. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so here, uh, before and after. Yeah. Okay. okay. Got to use it sparingly though. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think the other trick is to, you know, just kind of blend it so it ends before the tree line so you don't get an interaction that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Or if you see the interaction, then you can go in there and erase it. So yeah. with a little bit of a feather, that's the other way to do it. Mm -hmm. This is the Vermilion Cliffs, and this is Lightroom Plus. Uh, I wanted to pick up a little more uh, detail or contrast. So he used uh, Topaz Hummingbird wings on this, which didn't do a whole lot, but it did make the texture of the cliffs more prominent. Mm -hmm. And it gave it a semi uh, painterly look, I thought. As far as the composition, I just like this going off into the distance to the right there. Look, yeah, because it seemed like the weeds in the foreground are all kind of aiming that way along with the base of the hill. Yeah, and all kind of just kind of drifts to the right there. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. This is a beautiful area. I remember driving through there at golden hour. It's just the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was uh, mid-afternoon, but mm -hmm. I think uh, Topaz probably gave it a little more yeah. interest. Yeah. I'm seeing a little edge here, almost like too much sharpening, and I'm guessing it's from that Topaz filter. Yes, I think it was. I don't, I didn't use any sharpening on it. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and then it looks like it brought up the, the noise in the sky, too, so I'm thinking maybe you just, oh, yeah. you know, just take the mask and take that part out when you yeah. do it next time uh yeah. and and just again feather in just a little bit so that 
the sky, yeah, because if you feather this way, you'll get a little edge where, where there's grain and then the rest of that, it's gonna look weird. So just mm -hmm. feather in, in a hair so that you're not getting that sharpening on the edge here. And I, you know, it's so far away, I don't think you're gonna see it yeah. that much. And then, then I think you'll lose that halo too. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think one time you'd mentioned also using the blur tool along an edge like that. Yeah, if it's already done and it's too late, you could do oh, it yeah. subtly. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, if you, if you see it uh, before mm. you commit to it, um, then yeah. just just go and mask it. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I usually try and look at it at 100% when I put it on there, and then you'll be able to see it real easily. Mm. Okay. You know, you, you, can, you can start seeing what, what it's doing to the sky. And oh, yeah. Also right on this edge here, so. Yeah, I mean, it works nicely on here, but anything where it's just a, a broad yeah. light color or gradation, it's going to show yeah. a lot of noise if it's got any kind of, you know, heavy tweaking in it. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just be aware of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, this uh, up, getting closer to Page and some of the big rocks up the, around there, Marble Canyon area. Fantastic. And, yeah, I love that. And this uh, I used, well, Lightroom for the bulk of it. And then Topaz had a oh, something like basic correction that mm -hmm. does very little, but it did uh, make everything a little more. Uh, Contrasty and colorful, bold. What what surprised me is that in the lower left, what looks like a big row of hay bales or something. Yeah, but I think it's just a layer of rock, Fort. like you see to the right. Yeah, yeah, it looked like something that was built, but yeah, you know, I didn't get up closer to it, but yeah. But then you see all the varnish on there, you know, it's been there. Yeah. 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 Wow. I'm assuming it's an extension of like to the right of that, there's you see the edge mm -hmm. of a layer of sandstone that has fallen away. And I'm thinking that's what all yeah. that is. Yeah, I don't know if that's sedimentary or if it was pushed up or yeah, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to tell. Weird shape, but yeah. I don't think it's man-made. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention um, when you're doing that masking in Topaz, sometimes you can back off the 100% and blend it that way too, you know. Um, oh, or, yeah. Or to do most of the sky at 100%, and when you get close to the mountains, you know, take it down to 50 or less. And oh, okay. so some of it comes through, but not enough to worry about. You know, just play with a little area until you see what you like, and then, you know, undo mm. that, and, and then go and do the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's right. a helpful way to do it too, to kind of just ease it in there. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I think on this one, I uh, did use just 70% opacity. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it was getting what you're talking about uh, a little more. So I did back off and that worked yeah. out. That's a good point too. You can always back the opacity of the effect off. Yeah. Yeah. The mask you can do it selectively, so mm -hmm. uh, by, by how much opacity you, you put on the mask. Uh, if you want to overall, you can just crank it up or down at the top of the uh, the adjust part of the tool. That's yeah, really pretty. Uh, this is a Photoshop sky, also. I uh -huh. Okay. And. Ah, the bridges. Yeah, you, uh, what was the last year you had? A couple of years back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that nice when I was there, though? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it was kind of a rainy day. <laughs> oh, yeah. In fact, we got about halfway, well, probably most of the way across, and that started raining, and then the, uh, the visitor center was closed. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind of got wet. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this, Wendell? Uh, this is up uh, oh, uh, south of Page, 
uh, around Lee, uh, Lee's Ferry, Very, uh, yeah. coming up highway uh, east on Highway 89A. Okay. Before it connects up with 89 coming out of Page, um, oh. you cross the river on this bridge. I've, I've been there, but I don't remember seeing that. So. Yeah. Well, if you, yeah, you would have had to get on to 89A yeah. to cross this. But uh, Did you see any condor? Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, you really got lucky. You had good weather and condor. We didn't get any there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a picture of one. It was maybe 30, 40 feet away. Uh, it got a shadow background, so it didn't show up very well, but I did get get a picture of it. And we saw some flying around, too. Yeah. yeah. I guess they released a number of them back into the wild here. And uh, I oh. guess. I, I understand they're nesting there now too. Yeah, oh. uh, and uh, actually, I could see the tag. On, you know, a couple of them were close enough to see the tag. Like I could read a fifty-four on the one that got closest. So that's where car fifty-four went. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're really showing our age. Yeah, yeah Condor fifty-four. Yeah. Where are you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this uh, was also just a light room. Uh, and I just like the way the sh shape of the bridges kind of yeah, mirror each other. Looks and great. It got nice clear mountains, which I guess you didn't have when you were there. Oh. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, I, Hayes kind of gave it a nice step to field, though. <laughs> That's the only yeah. good thing I could say about it. Yeah. Yeah. So. You got a little haze there too, which helps. Yeah, you know, so yeah, I, this. I did quite a bit of cleaning up on that area yeah. to get it that far. There was a lot more haze in the original, yeah, yeah. But I did leave the these up to the it's, less it's there, not quite as close as you think it is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's out there, ways, yeah. So nice, yeah, really nice. Yeah. Well, thanks, Wilma. Yeah. Okay. Makes me want to go back. Yeah. Well, we stayed overnight in Marble Canyon Lodge, right uh -huh. close to there. And that's an old place, but it sure was an ideal location. Wow. And they had a good restaurant, too. Oh, that's always nice. All right, Al Crawford. Oh. Must have a story behind it. Oh, I, I had to turn on off my mute. Oh, okay. uh, we took a Jeep ride and this was our driver. Oh. And uh, he went by the name of uh, uh, Jingle. You know, like the movie? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. But, but his real name was Ty. But hmm. uh, anyway, uh, I thought he was quite photogenic. Mm -hmm. and, and so I took a picture of him and uh, I darkened the background and lightened the foreground because mm. uh, lightened the subject. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I just like, I just like this. And, and he was quite a talker. Uh, Previous to being a, 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 a Jeep driver, he was a, a, a insurance salesman. Oh, goodness. So, uh, uh, as you can imagine, he could talk up a storm. Yes. Yeah, he couldn't wear that hat selling insurance, probably. But probably <laughs> not. <laughs> Where is this, Al? Uh, Sedona, and it's... Oh, it, okay. It's the the uh, spot is west of Sedona. Oh, is this those uh, pig jeep tours or one of those? Well, it, it it's not the pig jeep, but it's it's a one of it one of the competitors. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get up there and do that one of these days. Usually, we're coming back from a long trip or just starting in the week. Don't hang around long enough to enjoy it. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> nice. And I like the way this chin strap mm -hmm. just sweeps down. That's great. Uh, there's a reason for that. That's the way the wind was blowing. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah. You ought to, he took some pictures of us, and you ought to see me. My beard is going sideways. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> It's going to fly away, folks. Yeah, well, if it was anything like it was down here, it was plenty windy. It's, goodness, we've had so much wind lately. Yeah. Well, you got a couple little accidents here, but I, I don't know that they need to be cleaned up. It kind of adds to the weather weather look here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe just... This little dark, this little white spot in the shadow area works okay here. I'm guessing those are metal rings or something up there. Nice. Berkeley pair. You do a little darkening over in here? Yeah, I did. Yeah, good, good. I, I actually, like, do, I I actually like darkened it. that. I darkened that, but uh, maybe not enough. Yeah. I get these once in a while, too. And I, I can't remember what I've done to get rid of my, I, I think you play with white and black or something just to blend them closer together. Because yeah. that, either that or, you had the auto on, you know, the auto mask on, and and it didn't catch it quite right, or or it yeah, it. yeah. So usually when I do these big areas, I'll turn it off so I make sure I get everything covered, and then, and then when I get back around the edges like this, I'll turn it back on again so it catches them. Yeah. Yeah, I like the fact that you did darken it up. I think it makes this a lot more prominent. Mm -hmm. You got that harsh light, uh, which is real tough to deal with, as we all have been accustomed to it here. <laughs> Get, yeah. Keep trying. Yeah. Maybe just the luminosity mask could pull this stuff just a tad. Is that a B or? Yeah, looks like, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I guess you could just... Uh, try that luminosity and see what happens here. I guess we can go 150 maybe. Don't have 150. Oh, we'll go 200. All right, that'll work. So if we hit uh, our mask, go down to luminosity, and just try and pick something light. Oh, maybe, maybe something in here. Okay, so it's grabbing everything, of course. So you're gonna wanna trim that down a bit. Yeah. Sometimes it just no, might be a bit too much. Let's take it back just a hair. You kind of watch the edges, see if it gets too much off the edge, you're going to get that same kind of action that you had over on your darks. So you just gotta kind of play with it till you get it maybe a little too much. And then you're gonna to wanna to get rid of the areas that it's, or maybe you don't, we'll, we'll try it first and see. So the first thing I wanna do is just take the highlights down and get, it's gonna get muddy. So uh, we can play with the whites and so on. Um, to counteract that, Again, I, I usually take the temperature up a bit. So there's the warm it up a little bit. Maybe a hint of red. There we go. Let's 
So I don't know if I like what it's doing in here. Mm. I think it solved our problems on the pestles. Um, maybe we can back them off just a little bit. Somewhere in there. So again, you can just go to subtract or you can do intersect. We haven't done that yet. Let's try that. Kick off of there and go over here. Intersect, you gotta go to these three dots and you say intersect with mask, let's say brush. So pretty much anywhere I paint is where it's gonna, is where it's gonna show. Let's see what that's doing. There you go. So now it's not affecting this area out here at all. Maybe I don't like it there, so I can just get a negative brush and maybe take the flow down a bit, take the size down. Just kind of bring this back a little bit. There you go. So now it's just primarily getting those areas. I don't mind it getting this highlight because that's kind of blown anyway, so yeah. There you go. I guess we can back out and see if it's affecting any of the other areas since there are some zero mm -hmm. in there. I don't think so. No? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that helps it a bit. So uh, see before and see after. Yeah, all righty. So this is out in the back country with the Jeep? That's a two-shot panorama. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, both horizontal. Hmm. And uh, it's uh, uh, just off of Snedley Road. Not familiar. Uh, pretty much go north off of... Uh, 89? Uh, uh, eight, uh, no, 176 uh, or whatever it is. It comes oh, in. Oh, the other one. Okay. Uh, just before you get into town. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, usually we come down from Flag and hit all that area. It goes up to Flag if you have a Jeep. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're usually uh, in the RVs. So I don't think we'd be going through. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> went to, we went to the uh, end of the pavement, but if you go any further, uh, it'll go yeah. on up the flag. Yeah, you can start seeing it. Yeah, I got you. I'm just curious. I, I like I like everything. I, I just want to see if it, if uh, that um, dust spot would remove something like that. Neo, just for grins here. Not to diverge, but I know we can erase it. But let's just see if it'll take it out with the camera dust spots. I doubt it, but. Oh, it did it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. Hmm. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then there's some others like these um, that you know you just have to go in and hit erase. Uh, so you just get a little bigger brush, just do something like that. See the little subtle ones where where it's just a little difference in color. I, I don't think it sees those very well or it's not sure what to do with them. But yeah, if you just go and erase, you can get rid of them pretty quick. There you go. Okay. Well, back we are. Well, that's a nice area. That panorama looks really nice. It's very seamless. I think maybe if you darken this up just a little bit in the foreground. Well, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that was uh, maybe pretty. not. An, and, and and yeah, I I agree. Looking on my uh, mm -hmm. uh, laptop right now, uh, it could be a little darker. 
Yeah. But, but uh, uh, it, it was even whiter than that. So I'll bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I thought about replacing the sky. That's the original sky, but there's just enough wispy in it that I left it. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, you got some nice little things going on here, and it doesn't yeah. take away from what's going on in the in the formations. Sometimes less is more. There you go. Thanks, Al. Let's get to Alan. Oh, this is a sculpture in uh, Calgary Airport. So while I was waiting for the luggage to come through, I uh, took a little shot of this with my cell phone. And of course, the background was a whole bunch of different things going on. So uh, in Topaz, it automatically kind of replaced all that stuff for me. Mm. I, I can just see there's some stuff underneath that horse to the left there that yeah probably just, uh, have, grabbing yeah, some masks a little bit. Yeah. yeah yeah a few spots yeah but i really like the the action of the horse right it just yeah coming right at you yeah if that happens again and you can remember what you did for this effect you can just yeah. go back and, and just do it in those areas with the mask yeah then you'd be good to go. If not, then you probably could just mask it and blur it. And I think you got enough going on that yeah. you wouldn't know, like in here and across here. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. So it's, it's just amazing what Topaz can do for a, for a, for a shot, you know? Yeah. If, if you didn't tell me it was a, a sculptor and and I just saw it and didn't even know it was a photograph. You'd almost think it was a painting with a real heavy palette knife or something. Oh yeah. 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 It's yeah this is pretty massive sculpture. So it's really yeah. pretty cool. Nice. There's one outside of Dallas Airport that's interesting too. With horses and steers. I guess it's like a cattle uh, Cattle or Russell or something. It's very similar. Yeah. Neat. I like the colors too. Yeah. I should have taken a little bit more time, maybe composing it. I, I, I did take a little bit of time, but I, I, I didn't. I took it quite low, but I can yeah. see I missed the top of the heads there. So. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes when it's really bright out and you're using your phone, it's tough to see your composition. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Hmm. Uh, does anybody know what this is? <laughs> like a missile silo. Yeah, it looks like the Titan missile. No, no, it's uh, it's the air intake of the engine of the SR seventy one. Oh, Blackbird! Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh. oh. Actually, I was trying to do something like that, but the the end, the one, the, the one that you're seeing here was a bit of a just by chance, to be honest with you. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, I was in Photoshop and I was trying to do, you know, take out some of the background and and blend it, and and it, up it came. So mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those happy mistakes. Yeah. So I was pretty pretty happy about it. But don't ask me to, to repeat it because I couldn't. <laughs> oh, come on, I want to watch. Um, I would probably noodle this down a little bit because it just seems a little dark to me. Okay. Have you worked with the line art tools at all? Nope. All right. Give you a quick lesson here. So um, we go into paths here. All paths, yeah. Yeah, do a new one and just kind of let's start. Oh, where's my tool? There we go. We just start one here. Maybe 
less dot, uh, the less points, the better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm holding down the shift key to keep them 90 degrees to, uh, or actually to, to the, just to, yeah, you could even just do like, you know, and there's the shift key again. Yeah, it keeps it a little rounder. And it uh, doesn't really matter where we go here because we're just going to finish off. Uh, yeah, let me just do that one again, pull it. Just so it finishes it nicely. All right. And then uh, we go back and adjust it. Oh, something like that. We're really only concerned with this area. The rest of it's kind of irrelevant. If you were going to use it, I would go and tweak it all. But right now, it doesn't matter because you really right. want just this area here. Okay. Now, if you hold down your command key on a Mac or control on a PC and click on this thing, it turns it into a mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, and at that point, if you make a new layer, the mask will come with it if you want, but I haven't hit it yet. I'm just gonna leave it for now because we wanna do something else. I'm gonna hit Command H to hide it so I don't see it. And I don't know if I want to clone. Yeah, maybe we'll just clone and see how that works. So I'm going to get my clone brush and I'm going to make it fairly small. Yeah, just kind of blend this out. Okay. Hmm. And see, I don't have to worry about my edge because I already got a mask on. Right. Yeah. Just a little dark there. Now you see, I'm only at 10% here. Yeah. Because if I go into 100%, <laughs> it would get nasty real quick. You can, you can blend better when you're just going back and forth at 10 or 20%. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can unhide if you want with the Apple H and then just Apple D to add Apple Command. I'm really old school here. <laughs> you used to have an Apple on the keyboard where the command is. Uh, yeah, way back in the day. Uh, so there you go. Um, so that's all you need to do. All right. Good. And, uh, yeah, it helps it out a little bit better. Nice. Yeah, a little nicer shape than, than that. Yes, it is, yeah. There you go. Yep, I'll do that. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was a, quite a while ago I took this, so I can't quite remember what I did with it, but uh, I can see there's some painting things going on in the leaves at the bottom there. So this was uh, on on the way over to the uh, to the place and on the road before you even get to it, right? So mm -hmm. I, I could just see it in the in the horizon, and I had a fairly long lens on, so I just went in and and uh, snapped that little shot. I changed the sky, and it, it kind of makes it look biblical, I think. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the god rays right <laughs> yeah. anyway a little bit different shot i guess yeah. from it mm -hmm. very nice yeah. oh, I like the something, something strange with it with the building though i couldn't quite get it either horizontal or vertical there, it almost looked like the buildings are you know falling apart a little bit they like the right one when you get the left one vertical, the right one's gonna yeah, more, yeah. yeah. something doesn't quite look right. And 
Yeah. I tried altering it a little bit and it didn't even, didn't work. Do you use Lightroom? Yeah. Okay, In Lightroom, you've got that tool where you can just run up the sides. Yeah. Yeah, whoops, I'm sorry. Tap my mouse, come back. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've just run two of those up there. Uh, yeah, yeah. right, correct it. And then if you put a third one horizontally across that, that top ledge below the uh, banisters there, I'll probably take it up real nice. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, it's just a kind of a different look. And I thought it, I kind of liked it, but I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure if I like it anymore. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good shot. Yeah. I did it at the time. Just I like it. I love, I love it. What I do like about it is, it's a different, it's from a different angle, right? Mm -hmm. It's not the usual kind of head on shot. So, yeah, it's really coming out of the trees here, which is kind yeah. of, yeah. <laughs> you got a couple of palm trees poking up. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a little oasis there. There yeah. you go. And this is a topaz uh, painter effect. Not, not uh, actually, it might be, uh, no, I think that's uh, Photoshop. Really, a Photoshop on yeah. ah, Interesting. Well, that's one of the things we're going to look at. Uh, I guess they put the painting back in under stylized in the current version. Okay. So if you're looking for it, that's where it'll be. Oh. Yeah. Wow. This is uh, from one of the, we're at the Desert Museum, and this is one of the big flowers and one of the cactus there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I like this because it showed you the, you know, the nice texture of the, the petals, which are really quite a bit different from a regular flower, right? Yeah. Not on a cactus. And then the depth of the flower with the little stamens come out. That's a huge flower. <laughs> it almost looks like eyelashes. Yeah. And an eyelid down there. That's really pretty. And the texture on the pedal up in the upper left looks like a fingerprint. Yeah. It's got... Yeah, these yeah, that's these interesting. Pedal... Petals on these uh, cactus flowers are considerably different from a regular flower. So. Yeah. Wow. That's really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's neat. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is this is not a micro shot. This is my regular kind of walkabout lens. So mm. pretty happy with it. Yeah, for sure. Probably got more depth of field. Yeah. <laughs> I know those macros don't give you much. Very nice. Good, yeah, thanks. And this is my first Os Osprey shot since I came back to, to Calgary. So he was, he was doing some acrobatics above me. So, mm. <laughs> yeah. A little bit soft, but. I like that. I like you don't normally see them like that. So yeah. I really like the way these tip feathers curl up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's that's it. All right. Well, thanks. Those are great. Thank you. So are you getting uh, acclimated to being back up there? Uh, it's been not too bad, but it's uh, well considerably cooler than than what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're a little little cooler than when you were leaving. It's it's uh, in the nineties instead of the hundreds, but it's supposed to get oh, back up there by the end of the week. <laughs> oh, we're nowhere close to that. So yeah. Yeah. Well, Don, where'd you find this character? Okay, this is in London. Uh, uh, I was digging through my closet today. Is my oh. every five years I go through that. And 
Oh. And uh, found some old slides and stuff. This one here, I don't think it's a slide. The rest of them will be slides. But uh, this was in London uh, back during the uh, Syria conflict when that was all going on. There was a lot of demonstrations oh. going on in London uh, okay. against the U.S. and uh, everything was going on in the world at that time. So went down mm -hmm. to the, uh, I can't think of the name of the square, Trafalgar Square, I guess it is. Uh -huh. And uh, wanted to go down there to see see that, why she wasn't too happy with it. <laughs> I said, oh, I said, I think we'll be all right. But it was really interesting to, to see the demonstrations and stuff that had going on. It was all peaceful at that time. So. Mm -hmm. They were more than willing to pose. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Looks like something that could have been taken right now. Yeah, exactly. True. Oh. Yeah, it's good as where it is. Oh, what was that movie? V for Vendetta or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very cool. Interesting. Yeah. He's an Irish Jewish Christian. Uh, I was going to say, can <laughs> okay, make up his mind which religion he wants to be? <laughs> he, might, he might be something else as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Okay. Well, hopefully things will calm down and we won't get to that again. Yeah. This is uh, Mount St. Helens. Uh, wow. We rode motorcycles out. And uh, this was the first year that they had a single road going back to the crater. And that's mm. what these next three pictures will be of. This is the slide I took. Uh, this particular tree stump here was. Uh, pretty much directly across from the uh, blast center, and it just blow just bloated up. That's mm, when I left of it. So is that all ash still? Yeah, that's all okay. ash and stuff laying there. Yeah. Uh, wow. And that that I don't know if that river there, that that pond lake back there is part of that. That they raised that when it slid down underneath, it raised it how many hundred feet or whatever up because the mountain slid underneath it. Right. Mm. Mm. But I did, it would just, I really like the way the, uh, the blast just, you know, just cut that tree off. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoops. I must have hit my mouse again. Sorry, guys. I, you know, I like the bleakness of it, but something inside me wants to make it a little more snappier and not so blown out. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe just maybe just uh, a little enhanced. Oh, rest. I didn't know if you could do it. It's just yeah. a slide, so I didn't know there was anything. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, I guess you could. I just, didn't even try. Yeah, you can grab that enhanced nail and see what happens here. Yeah, that, oh yeah. Yeah, maybe grab develop and oh try some smart contrast. Yeah, take those highlights down. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's see here. Get a little bit of blue out. Yeah. There's a color cast I haven't played with. Let's see. Where I can't remember where it is either. <laughs> uh, I think it might be in the in the color tool, but Let's uh, let's get this thing looking the way we want first. Uh, uh, we're still still in the names there. Nothing clipping yet. All right, let's try a color and uh, yeah, here it is. Remove color cast. Let's see what that does. A little bit, not much. Guess we can get in here and oh, maybe take some of the blue down. There we go. Take some warmth up. Too much. Take a little green out. 
No, I guess I should have played with a little bit. I didn't think yeah. anything out of that old slide. All right. Yeah, you can go further. I'll, I'll, I'll let it be and let you play with it. But uh, yeah, you can could, you could go quite a bit more of it. Yeah. Just start. Yeah. Okay. And this here is just a car that got caught in there that people, mm -hmm. people lived up in there. And all the logs and stuff that would blew off in the, in the oh, background, yeah. you can see, and through all the dirt and the ash and polish and stuff, just hammered the car. So we were up there about three years ago, and uh, Pam had been there like probably about when you were there, like a few months after they started letting people back in there. And uh, she said it looked like it never happened. Yeah. When we was there, the flowers and, and the small trees were starting. They was probably six, seven, eight inches tall already. They were starting to come in. Mm. Yeah. But but just recently, you would have never known that. This, yeah. You looked up and saw the scar on the mountain. That was a long time ago. No, it was 42 yeah. years ago. In the 80s, I think, right? Yeah. 1980. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Uh, it's just a, like you see how dirty my dirt was on the slide when I, when I scanned that. But that's oh, just yeah. the, the logs and stuff. They all lay in the same direction, according to how yeah. the blast come around through the valley yeah. and around the mountain. Yeah. Wow. But you can see in the, the small shrubs and stuff are starting to grow back. So this is in the Metal Lake area. Wow. Yeah. Huh. And just a one lane road that went back in. Yeah. Uh, two cars couldn't pass on it. Wow. One way in, one way out. Pretty neat. And this is I'm, one picture I found of uh, at Bryce when we took the horseback ride in. Oh, yeah. Couldn't find the ones that I really wanted to find with, with the whole crew lined mm -hmm. up. But, uh, I can find at this point. Yeah, we'll probably surface one of these days. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had them all categorized and knew where to find them, and not so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, if, if you, I've moved a few times, and I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me. We moved too. And I, boxes and boxes and boxes of them and you know the edits are thrown in with the old ones and yeah it's like doing it over <sighs> anyway <laughs> yeah so i well, guess you it. pull some yellow and some saturation overall and you get it pretty close pretty quick yeah yeah neat well thanks for the memories <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, I guess we got everybody. Oh, okay, we don't want to save anything in there. Um, well, let me just, just open something here. Uh, all right, we'll go back and open that one, I guess. Um, I'll show that movie in a minute. Let me let me just see if I can find real quick if there's any changes I know offhand. Evidently, they moved paint to stylize. So, yeah, here it is. Oil paint is now here. Yeah, I think it was. Wasn't that always there? It came and it went. You know, they oh, put it in, yeah. took it out. Yeah, depending on what version you're on. But yeah, they just recently put it back. So, so it's there if you're looking for it. Um, all right, let me uh, just. Uh, Stop sharing for a section second here and uh